This recipe is one of my favourites. It comes from my dear friend Yong Nam Bang, which is South Korean for fiery dragon from the south. But he couldn't be any less like a fiery dragon in many respects. He's a dear, sweet, gentle soul. But when it comes to cooking, he's full of fire and passion. He's one of the most imaginative cooks I know. But this is a very, very simple recipe for something that you can have as nibbles when people come or you can nibble yourself during the day or when you go camping or walking you can take a handful of these or if something terrible happens to the world just grab a handful of these and you will have some nutrients I hope and rescue will be at hand won't it? Yes, I hope so. So all we have, all we do here is some sunflower seeds <coughs> Now what you should actually wash sunflower seeds before because they, they tend to have, particularly the organic ones, a bit of grit. So these have been washed and you heat your pan for about a minute before you put these in. I'm just going to put half of this sauce in. I'm not going to put the whole. You see this? Get a scatter on the pan. Beautiful. Now this is the crucial thing about the cooking here. You have to be very careful that you don't burn the sunflower seeds which means timing is everything so when you see the first brown coming onto the sunflower seeds you turn them you turn them over and mix them and take them off the heat because the pan retains a great deal of heat and if you're not careful they're still going to be cooking in the pan and you're going to end up with black sunflower seeds which is not the point at all so we just sit there I just sit there for a few more seconds and then I'm going to turn them over and they'll have a few more seconds. They don't take very long. And now I'm going to just start mixing them. They're beginning to just give out a little bit of crackle. So you can twirl them around the, the pan, which has to be absolutely dry. I'll tell you why in a minute when I add the next ingredient, which I can't see, <laughs> it's disappeared. Where is the, oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, right, yes, 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 it's getting a bit crucial now. You can't probably see this, but there's a little brown. So I'm actually going to take this off the heat and just zhuzh them around like this. And you can smell a beautiful, kind of rustic, rich, satisfying smell of the sunflower seeds as they still cook in the pan after the heat's been taken away. You see that? They have a nice roasty look, but they're not black. So the heat's on. You've got to keep them hot because I'm now going to put some tamari, which is a soy mixture. And immediately you have to whisk them around because that tamari has to coat the sunflower seeds perfectly. So I put about two small dessert spoons. Probably it was a bit too much. It's a bit too, a bit too liquidy, but never mind. It's still good. But the idea is that the tamari and the sunflower seeds fuse through that little bit of heat. So there's no heat from the gas. It's just the heat from the pan that's been retained. And here you've got your coated sunflower seeds. And into that you just take a handful of hopefully organic sultanas. Mix them together. These. Should separate. The grain should separate. It's separated much better now. But the heat is lessening. Oh, lovely. Mm. So you've got crunchy sunflower seeds together with beautiful succulent sultanas. So you've got the sweetness of the sultanas and the savoury of the tamari on the sunflower seeds. And you can put them in an airtight jar and they last for a very long time, except they don't last because people tend to want more and more and more. They are extremely moorish. And I'm just going to try one. It's probably a bit hot at the moment. 
Full of flavour, quite salty. If you can, get the salt reduced tomorrow. This is not salt reduced, so it's a little bit too salty for me, but if you're having drinks, it's the perfect thing. So it's not like nuts. You can have a lot of them without feeling overstuffed, overblown. And uh, they keep. Whoops. Got a mind of their own. You can put more sultanas in if you like, if you like more sweet and have a lot more. You might like to get some yellow sultanas so there's more of a colour contrast. But I find that people of all ages just love these. And they are so easy to do. How long did it take to cook? Five minutes? You've got something that you can have all week, all month, inside or outside where you live. Fiery dragon from the south, sunflower and sultanas.